Welcome. Welcome to Martial Arts Self-Defense. I am Instructor Carlo. Welcome. Uh, today, we have a special show. It is Workout Wednesday. It's also the day after the election, depending on how things... You already know how things went. A lot of people are happy. A lot of people are angry. No matter what, the goal is to help you show up at your best. Okay, and one thing that I, I'll share with you, I've worked in healthcare for over 10 years uh, in the outpatient setting in integrative healthcare. One thing I do want to, and you, know, you can go into details of blah, 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 blah. One thing that I did notice, and throughout, through the pandemic, through any of the strifes, through anything, okay, one thing that's, that uh, surpasses any kind of division is health. Uh, so going in that spirit, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do the stretching because I want to show you that you can still implement a, a stretch routine that's very quick. So let's start with the arms, getting the full range of motion here. And the neck. Okay, and we're gonna stretch the legs. I need to adjust the back foot accordingly and it's a okay. Okay, ready and go.
just like we're walking. Good. Switch legs. about this exercise not just swinging our leg but you're 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 not just swinging your lean your leg aimlessly but rather using your leg like a pendulum and then using the standing leg to balance okay and we can go into the significance of why balance is very important i think it's very important for neurological health as well as just uh, being able to right not uh, to withstand or prevent falls and things of that nature so uh, very beneficial okay i'm using light dumbbells today you can do if you want to do heavier that's fine i'm starting light because i want to keep it light <clears throat> and in general um, it's a balance between strength and muscle the uh, strength and speed okay so so dumbbells you can practice for 20 punches ready for one two three now just doing a basic one two just holding your hands up like this and having some dumbbells and just getting in this position your ready position is just good practice in general okay it's going to teach you good basics in terms of keeping your hands up and you're getting a good workout and you're learning your basic one two one two three so we're going to just do one, two, and then we'll do jab, jab, cross, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, when you're punching here, I don't want you to punch from the arms. I want you to punch from the waist and the ground. My punches are coming from the body. Arm does not extend all the way like this. All right, stop short just of the target. Six, seven, eight, nine, 11. We're gonna do 20 of these. And then we can take a quick break. Okay, now this is southpaw. Ready, start off with your jab. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. Punch rear. Or, you know, it, it, we're using boxing terminology here, but it's just a general, all encompassing term. Okay, so I'm here. One, two, three. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Whew. I know there's lots of work we gotta do, but I'm feeling good. Let's go. Okay. I do. wanted to have a sheet here, and I prefer to not do it on cement, but I'm gonna just practice our front stretch, or sorry, our front splits, depending on where you're at. Okay, you just need to practice and it takes time. Now front splits, what we want to do is just focus on letting your body sink down, okay? And what I always tell students is that you should be able to read a book in this position, right? And eventually, to get down lower, and I also don't like messing up the shoes here. You can, and I am very tight, I'm very tight, I mean, be able to get down to the ground. Right, we want to keep the back as straight as possible. And then when you're ready, I don't say try to pull yourself up, I say inch your weight back up. And then you can do the same thing for the other side. Just inch your weight forward. Once again, your body should just be that relaxed and the towel on here because I'm going to scrape the shoes here.
just letting your body sink and just letting it fall naturally. Your body's going to have enough to worry about, right? There's already enough to worry about. You don't worry about the outside and this, that. Yes, you're still here. Still, yes, you still have to pay attention, but put the focus internally. And eventually things will sink. Okay, splits should be part of the workout because then eventually you might sink faster than your your legs are able to kind of support you at that level. So it's okay to use your hands as long as you can keep everything as straight as possible. And when you're ready, slowly reach your way back up. And one, two, three, up. Oh, we didn't do the other side. So southpaw. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, three. One, two, 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 three. Five kicks. Five kicks. Ready? Start off with the left. Start off with the side that you need work on. And these are just going to be crossing kicks to the head. Just to develop the feeling. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Switch legs. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Switch sides. Again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I always like working on a baji kick. I, I am a big fan of the baji kick. Similar to Tai Chi, what we practice here, you kick and you step. Okay, low kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can work on our horse stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm going to continue with jump roping. I'm going to do some cardio. You can do cardio on your own. That I don't feel we have to film. But I just want to let you know that as an instructor and as a practitioner, that's something I'm fully, um, fully for, something I fully support, and adjusting according to your needs. Some people need more cardio. Some people need more stretching. Some people need more weights. You do what's best for you and grow and develop the best you can. So I wish you the best and we will continue again soon. Thank you.